Hello and welcome back to Hammerhead Sports Productions. Please keep watching my videos and please subscribe. It would be much appreciated. The recent surprising news. Surprising. I kind of somewhat lost my mind because I was so happy about this news. That the Hunter Henry has signed a three-year, $37.5 million contract with $25 million guaranteed with my New England Patriots. Holy freaking crap. It felt like it was Christmas come early. Let's just put it like that. I couldn't. I was very surprised that we signed him to the con, to a contract, and I'm surprised we signed him for that much. Honestly, I feel like that's a bargain. In my opinion, it's just a it's a bargain. Oh, a, a little bit. Um, we may have kind of given him a little too much guaranteed. I would have maybe given him 18 million, unless that was what they offered. If that's what they offered, okay. But I would have maybe given him 18 million in guaranteed, not 25, because he has dealt with some injury trouble in in his uh, career. So I felt like I feel like they are taking a bit of a stretch. But if he does, if maybe I become wrong, and that he will will be very healthy in his time with us, and will earn that 25 million guaranteed money. So give a little more of context. Uh, Hunter Henry has been one of the more up-and-coming tight ends in the league, he, uh, especially with the Chargers. And uh, he was a very um, uh, targeted person for Phillip. And then uh, he had a really good season last year with um, with Justin Herbert. And I'm surprised that the Chargers didn't really try to bring him back. Or they really – the lack of transparency because they had signed to a franchise tag then they signed him to a one-year contract, I believe. They never signed him to a long-term deal, and I just find that puzzling. But maybe, as I said before, it's because of the injuries, and that's completely understandable. But if if you have a tight end that that's good, you might want to, like, keep him. But they decided to let him go, and I'm, I'm ecstatic because we definitely needed some tight end help, and I've – Heard recent news that we've uh, traded Matt Lacoste to the Texans, so that now frees up a tight end spot. And we've also signed Juano Smith, who I also will be doing a video on and on him. And I can't wait to see those two guys in action. This is probably one of the, the best tight end duo since uh, Rob and Martellus Bennett. That is going to be one hell of a thing to see, and it's going to give Cam Newton a lot more options and. Especially in terms of blocking, because we definitely, we definitely need some better blocking on that line. And I feel like Hunter, Hunter is also a really good blocker. Same with Juano Smith, and I'll say that again in his video. So he definitely brings more than just pass catching ability and touchdown ability. He brings blocking ability and versatility. So it's great, and I can't wait. I just hope that he is going to be able to stay healthy, and I expect him. Because last year he put up best numbers. He put up uh, how many? How much was it? Four. He played fourteen games, sixty catches, six hundred and thirteen yards, and four TDs. Best in his career. And I expect him this year if he stays healthy, plays however many games they extended it to. I think maybe seventy or sixty catches again. Maybe actually fifty-five because of how many options there are. But I think they, his yards will increase from 600 to 700 to 800. And I think he'll be a very big red zone threat. And I believe he will get eight to not 10 touchdown catches during the season. Maybe that's a little, maybe I am stretching it a little bit. And maybe you're saying in your head, well, maybe six to eight. And that's probably, that's probable too. Cause I can't, cause we don't know exactly what kind of a, t- uh, offense they will run. They run, ran a very run-heavy offense last year, but this year I expect they are, as I've said before, they're going to pe- spread it out a little bit more, spread the uh, spread the options out, and Cam will be throwing it a little bit more, but he won't be throwing it deep because of his um, shoulder and everything, but there's plenty of options that will be open because of threats and everything and scheming and everything and how Josh does his, uh, his stuff. So I can't wait to see, and it's going to be exciting. And at this great signing for the for the Pats, great signing, great sign. And uh, what, maybe he, maybe he'll spend the rest of his career here and turn into uh, like our next Gronk, but uh, too early to say. 
But who knows? Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.